time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, October 7th. S&P down 60, NASDAQ down 229, Russell down 33, Dow down 510, gold down about a third of a percent, silver down one and a half, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up 1%, oil up 4%, natty gas down 4%, soybeans red, corn green, wheat green, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin up about a half percent, VIX popping up to almost 23, up 20%. Little afternoon flush. My Bix looked really nice earlier. Now it looks like I'm going to have a small red day, currently down a little over 500. Um, I did do some price action Bix, which uh, helped out up a little over 1,100 on those. Just doing those small, still kind of testing, just doing two lot tranches. And so a um, couple of them cashed out, cashed out, and then stopped on one side and then stopped on one side after cashing some out. So that's one thing, you know, I noticed several of you, um, you know, second guessing yourself, you know, you wish you would have closed some. That's one thing I have found is that, you know, I've got one set of big trades that I'm trading and they, I just let them go. And do I wish I, you know, we didn't have that flush and got stopped out. Sure. But I also am doing the price action Bix in another account, which helps because I am taking partial profits. So um, anyway, if that's an option, something to consider. Uh, I've been doing a lot of calendar stuff today. Took off a three, five, three, six, three, seven, all profitable. Put on a new one, two, and a one, three, and a one, four. Uh, all of those are a little bit green. Um, put on a two, three. That one's down a couple percent. Put on a three, four. That one looks like it's down a percent or two. I've still got a four, seven, five, seven, six, seven on from Friday. The four, seven is up. 12%, 57 is up 7 and the 67 is up about 7 or 8. Put on a early and an OG Wuga. Those are already out of range with that little flush. Really need to get back above 5700 for those to work out. Um I'm going to let things settle down. We'll see. I may enter one more tranche here during power hour, but that is oh, my 1 DTE. I trans uh transformed part of it into an upside vertical for tomorrow and then um, let the rest ride. I was close to my profit target before this flush happened. Um, so didn't uh, that didn't help on my last remaining piece. Um, other than that, I think that's it. I didn't do any day trading this morning. Chad, how's your day? Uh, really good, man. Um, did did uh, had some nice trades in the day trading channel this morning. Three three mighty ninety winners. Um, I had one continuation runner that was a, a not a small loser, not not very big. So plus uh, six hundred twenty two this morning. Uh, one DTE booked twenty five percent pretty quick this morning, and then I ended up cutting it um, as it. Price was trending downward. The more it went down, the it never really got close to 40%. I mean, it was probably at 30%. And that's probably where I closed it out at. So that was a, and I accidentally did 10 contracts instead of six. Normally I do six for my one DTE. I just forgot to lower the 
contracts when I was placing it. So ended up being a 2850 winner. So almost three K out of it. Uh, AM number one, 2040, and then got stopped on my last two. It's a nice winner there of 1780. Lunchtime number one, 2040, and then last two got stopped as well on this flush down. Uh, I had $2.60 of slippage on those two contracts, but I ended up closing my uh, long puts out um, for three bucks. Um, just here a little bit ago on that push down. So that was plus 39.10. So I have shut down the TLC 1DT account at plus 8,540 for the day on three trades. Nice. And then I've got one Wooga on with just one contract in my little small account in Tastyworks. And so it needs to finish above 5695. Um, I was actually, this one was, um, I put this one on probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. It wasn't, it wasn't an early one, but it wasn't the OG one either. I was actually looking at, um, putting on one in my, um, other account. And then that big slip happened or the big, this big push down, most recent push down happened. And I was like, Whoa, nah, I'm not going to. I got to put on another one. I'm not, I, I don't want any part of this uh, type of price movement. So um, only one woo gone today instead of two and only one contract here. So I have very little risk on as well. Need a little bounce. Yeah. It's kind of, I kind of been feeling, you know, with my TLC trades today, I was, I kind of had a feeling with the VIX going up most of the day that we were going to get a drop at some point. Yeah. I felt like it. It just was kind of yeah. gradually grinding, kind of just not hitting any new highs, just yep. higher lows, lower lows. So I was just really hoping to get out of 40% at least in my TLC trades and trades and was able to do that. And, um, on my first one, my AM number one, you know, I mean, things were, it was beautiful, really choppy day. I closed my puts out on that one um, or ahead of time. I was closing them out as I go, but then as the day went on and I saw the VIX going up on my lunchtime number two, I kind of left my longs on just to in case this happened and it did. I'm on the 5,700, 57 tens. On my Wooga. Biggest movers in stocks, SMCI up 14, 15%, DJT up 11%, NVIDIA up three, Baidu up two and a half, Baba up one. On the red side, Lemonade and Jumia down, Tesla down three and a half, Amazon down three and a quarter, Netflix down two and a half. Meta down almost two, Apple down two. Doesn't look like peeking through lows of day again. Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to bounce any. We flushed down, bounced off of Friday's lows, chopped there for a minute, and then the next flush came.
Well, if we end between 75 and 00, I could still be green on BIX today. Hey, it's last couple trading days. Old Woog has gotten out of out of uh, range rather quickly. If we snuggle back up to the expected move line, that would be that would be Where's money that? for Wooga. Where's that? Uh, fifty-seven oh nine. Oh yeah, I would love that. Uh, Lando, I, yeah, I closed the full, so if I do, so let's say like today I was just doing two lots in my little testing. So I just, um, I basically, once I, once I put it on, I, I look to see what, you know, where 20% is. And once that, once it goes over that, then I just in trade steward, I manually close both sides. So I, I close part of the full iron condor. And then, you know, if we make a move like we did, then I just let it let it go like a regular bick. Yeah, I don't know, uh, madam, if there was something that triggered that. I know Kashkari started speaking at noon. I know twelve fifty, so almost one o'clock central. Which is right about the time things started falling. I don't know if he said something that triggered it, but my four seven and six seven were getting close to a twenty percent profit target. I was going to close half. They dropped a little bit with this flush, but. So green. We've got, uh, let's see, another Fed speaker after the market closes, Muslim. Uh, tomorrow, we've got another Fed speaker overnight at 2 a.m. Bostic at 11.45. And then a couple more after the market closes. So no real, no real econ news tomorrow. Wednesday, a few more. Uh, Fed speakers, Bostic and Logan pre-market. Ghouls be an hour after the market opens. Jefferson at 11.30 a.m. Central. And then the FOMC minutes released at 1 p.m. Central. And then Thursday and Friday, pre-market, CPI and PPI. And a few more Fed speakers.
going to go in with one more price action Bic tranche. Got filled on the OOs and the 85s. Eighty five thirty fives. And the oh, oh, thirty fives. So, Landon, this is. So I just got in this price section BIC. So, you know, I've got, I just did a two lot max profit 1280. So 20% of that is 256. So I'm just eyeballing it once it gets to 256. Then I would come into trade steward and I would just close one using the little down arrows on both of these. And a little bounce here off the lows. My OG Wooga is back in range. Yeah. Yeah, I've had, uh, well, on my, um, actually on my IB account, which are resting, I did have some slips. I had a buck 70 and a buck 20. Average slip today was actually 85 cents, which is pretty high for that. But on, yeah, my toss broker resting, I didn't have any slip really. Jet pilot John just posted a link there for you. There's a channel right under here. British Iron Condor, short for British Iron Condor.
brought to us by our favorite Brits, Elliot and Lasoza. But that link will take you to a little um, a pinned message in the in the big channel. Yeah, no, not really, Cody. Um, you know, this um, these stops were set at 80%. This one had 89. So I'm not sure what that was in a decimal figure. This one had 82, so pretty solid. Using the bro broker resting. For some reason, my three four is the P and L is off on Tradier. I can't figure out why. It's down a little bit, but my Tradier has shown it down quite a bit more. Good that I closed out the short strangle in oil on Friday. Another big move up. Another pop, another little spike in volatility in oil. Little on edge. Been a while since the VIX has been at 22, right? Uh, yeah, since uh, it looks like September 6th. Okay. Peaked its head above 23, got up to 2303. I was considering adding a risk or a vertical risk reversal in VXX, but I'd like to see if it's going to pop a little bit more.
So let's see. Well, SPX still trying to bounce a little bit. I may do a little starter VXX position here. In my my uh wooga is up 10 percent come on wooga so much different looking at this tasty works graph I got filled. Yeah, Tasty's graphs suck. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <clears throat> Trying to get to 5,700. Yeah, a chess master just posted that in the option selling trades. My early Wooga still needs above. Above 09. It's got a ways to go. My OG Wooga is slightly green. Got a lot going on tonight. A lot going on, kids. Yep. I've got, got uh, my youngest has a track meet. My oldest has a football game and the Chiefs have a football game and the Royals have a baseball game. It's going to be a big one. Big night. Yeah. That is, <laughs> I got, I got stone has a freshman game and he's also playing in the JV game right after. So 
apparently since he moved up. So apparently you play a couple quarters in the freshman game and then um and then playing some of the quarters in the JV game. SPX creeping up back up to 57 hundy. Back up to yesterday's lows, both in SPX and NDX. Don't count Wooga out. Don't yeah. ever count Wooga out. I mean, it sure looks like it wants to get back up to 57.10 anyway. <laughs> Never count a good Wooga out. I was considering adding a 2 4 double calendar today as well, but I've got enough on. So I'm not going to add that one. I was hoping to hit some profit targets on my four, seven, and six, seven before the end of the day to take some chips off. But well, the four, seven, still, four, seven's up 15%. It still has a chance. I thought my one, two, and one, three might hit 10% as well, but they kind of, well, they're, they're at five and 6%. That could happen as well. By the way, if you are new here, we obviously have a lot of downtime, just kind of managing our trade. So if you have questions, these live streams are always a good time to kind of help fill in the gaps from some of the stuff you may have watched in the courses or seen people post. 
So feel free to uh, ask anything. And no, Krish, you are not new. Uh, did you not see it? Is Did I not post it? Yeah, eight cents. Eight cent debit. Yeah, it was a debit. You could go a little bit wider on the puts to make it turn it into a credit, but I'm I'm okay with paying a small debit. Small debit, small credit. Close to even money is what I'm looking for. It's bearish, like it says in the alert, chess master. Bearish. We want volatility to go down, contract. Yeah, but I'm trading... VXX. I'm not trading SPX. If I did it in SPX and I wanted SPX to go down, it would be a bearish. If I wanted SPX to go up, it'd be bullish. But it's based on the ticker that you're trading. Hey, Prakash, I see you posted in the Zoom chat. Do me a favor. Post in the Zero Live chat channel in Discord. Typically don't check the Zoom chat. But to answer, so your question is, does SPY look bearish or bullish from here to the close? Yeah, I don't, I just don't trade that way. I don't have a crystal ball. You'll have to ask Krish. He's the only one here with a crystal ball. No, we just, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't trade that way. I don't try to predict. If we could predict... If we could predict that like that, we'd be on islands somewhere. I'd probably be in a mountain. Yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with having a directional assumption, but it's all about how you, you know, your strategy around that and how you manage risk around that trade. Getting a little pullback now. So went up and touched yesterday, Friday's lows. Kind of rolling over a little bit.
Chad, you can still get in five wide. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Been in a 12 point range the last 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Let's see what the old butterflies are trading for. Let's see, 95 fly. Trading for about a dollar, a little over a buck, maybe, right at a dollar. Maybe a little less. Coming back down. My one DTE from Friday or three DTE today's expiration where I did a, uh, I did an upside vertical that looks like it's going to hit minimum profit. My one DTE for tomorrow is an upside vertical. I need to get over 5770 for that to hit max. So that would be new all time highs. Yeah, VXX, I mean, 30 cents wide at the money. Decent open interest. You just got to work your orders a little bit. SPX coming back towards lows of day. We can expire at 5,700. I'd still make a few hundred bucks on Wooga.
between the two. Yeah, my early one, well, yeah, I mean, it's down probably, whatever that is, 80%. My OG is approaching break even. We can get a little bounce. If we can get into a Mahomes, it's going to be late. All this movement and volatility expansion. 95 butterfly still trading for around a buck. A little over 20 minutes till the bell, 10 minutes till MOC. Elliot, did you get your new wheels? When do you get it? Okay. Okay, so it's the model is already out. You just had to get the custom. Wooga needs a big, uh, like a $5 billion MOC buy number. That, would, that should do it.
DJT's been bouncing. I put on a uh, upside butterfly. Let's see, it was back here on the day where people could start unloading their stock. I thought it might be overdone. Still went down a few days, but it's been bouncing. In the green a little bit on it. SPX heading back towards lows. You know, back up to 56.95 for my we're gonna about break even. Oh, we had a nice chance as it was creeping. I thought it may have put in its lows, but let's see. Rut, a little ruddy. Yeah, ruddy is climbing a little bit. Needs to pull its buddies up. Five minutes till MOC. Butterflies are staying cheap. Still around a dollar. VIX creeping back up.
Just can't get any legs to it. It's really pretty good. Pretty good power hour action, really. If you know the early Wooga definitely was is hurting, but pretty decent power hour action. I wouldn't be surprised to see another 10, 15 point drop here the way it's been acting. We got the tension in the Middle East chess master and we got CPI and PPI coming back this week. So volatility stay in bid. MOC in one minute. See some green. MOC here in a few seconds. Jumping. Jumping up. Where's my MOC? Five hundred sixty-five million to the sell side. But getting a little bump. Working the OOs. My Woog is at 73%. Something just hit. Oh, my 4.7 just hit. Nice. Working the O5s and the OOs.
OG Wuga seeking max profit. Early Wuga needs 10. Needs to get to 10. Looking at OOs, the O5s, and the 10s. Stay up. Hold your head up, little buddy. Five minutes. Love a fill on the OOs and then rip to 10. Man, back down to ninety five. Build on the ninety fives. All right, now rip back up. Need to move away from 95. It went up to yesterday's Friday's low again and got rejected. Three minutes. Nice Elliot, 10K day. Two minutes.
need to move back above 5,700 preferably. And then the 92s. One minute. Need a move away from 95. Hovering around 95, 10 seconds. Ding, ding, ding. 95.95. So Mahomes loser, Wooga loser. My uh, Bix ended up being tiny down minus two, 260. $23 winner for my Wooga. <laughs> nice. After it was up like 70%. Double calendars, my winners for the day. Zero DCE, I'm going to be red. All right, all. Uh, let's see, live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 8th. Chat will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. We'll be back for Power Hour. Everyone have a good night. Take care. Talk to you soon.